Ports of EVs, lithium-ion, and solar batteries rise in China. In 2022, China's foreign trade withstood the impact of multiple unexpected factors, and the total import and export value exceeded the 40 trillion yuan mark for the first time. Among them, the exports of electric vehicles, photovoltaic products, and lithium batteries increased by 131.8%, 67.8%, and 86.7% year-on-year, respectively. Electricity, photovoltaic, and lithium have become the new three types of foreign trade exports. What are the reasons behind high-tech, high-value-added, and leading green transformation products becoming new growth points for exports? How can we improve the industrial chain and supply chain to continue to stabilize the good export trend? The reporter conducted interviews on these issues. As an industry that integrates low-carbon and digital development, new energy vehicles play a strong driving role in the national economy. According to statistics from the China Association of Automobile Manufacturers, China's automobile exports reached 3.111 million units in 2022, a year-on-year -year increase of 54.4%, ranking second in the world. The main driving force for the growth of China's automobile exports is new energy vehicles, with new energy accounting for 21.83% of the total exports of automobiles throughout the year. In addition to the entire vehicle, supporting lithium batteries are also a key export factor. According to statistics from the General Administration of Customs of China, the export value of lithium-ion batteries in China reached nearly 342.656 billion yuan last year, an increase of 20.2 percentage points year-on-year. -year. From the perspective of export countries, the top five countries in terms of domestic lithium battery export value are the United States, Germany, South Korea, the Netherlands, and Vietnam, accounting for 57.6% of the total export value. Recently, the power battery company Ningda Times officially launched its factory in Arnstadt, Thuringen, Germany, with an annual production capacity of approximately 30 million battery cells after full production, capable of assembling 185,000 to 350,000 electric vehicles. Zheng Yuqiwen, the chairman of Ningda Times, said that he hoped to bring the world's most advanced power battery technology to Germany, where the first overseas factory was located in a country with developed automobile industry. By forming a localized power battery supply capacity in Europe, we can further approach European customers, provide more timely and effective product solutions, and better and faster respond to customer needs. In the continuous trend of overseas order grabbing, since the beginning of the year, companies have been searching for orders and exploring business opportunities overseas. For the leading photovoltaic company, Trina Solar, overseas order grabbing has never stopped. Half of the time every year, it is the norm for Chen Cheng, the head of Tianhe Energy Storage's overseas business, to travel abroad. The team members are very confident and feel full of motivation. It is under understood that Trina Solar went out to see to grab orders and returned with a full load, winning a batch of major and long-term orders, and the order size is large, expected to account for 30% to 50% of the total sales in 2023. As one of the new three types of exports, the performance of photovoltaic products is also very impressive. At the Photovoltaic Industry 2022 Development Review and 2023 Situation Outlook Seminar, held on February 16, Wang Bohua, Honorary Chairman of China Photovoltaic Industry Association, said that the total export of photovoltaic products exceeded 50 billion US dollars, with a year-on-year -year growth of more than 80%, hitting a historical high. At the same time, he predicts that the new installed capacity of photovoltaics in China will reach 95 to 120 gigawatts, gigawatts, the unit of photovoltaic installed capacity, by 2023 accounting for over 30% of the global new installed capacity. Which categories of photovoltaic products are more favored by overseas markets? From the past market performance, modules have always accounted for a high proportion in the export of photovoltaic products. Last year, the export volume of silicon wafers and battery cells also showed significant growth. It can be said that photovoltaic product exports have become an important lever for China to stabilize foreign trade and promote the economy. Xu Jingli, a researcher at the Energy Research Institute of the National Development and Reform Commission, said that even if the high price of silicon materials drives the price of modules up, last year, the photovoltaic industry continued to maintain a strong growth momentum. This is enough to prove that China's exported photovoltaic products have significant competitive competitiveness globally. The products in the new energy field comply with the low-carbon trend, and international competitiveness is a comprehensive result of core technology, market cultivation, and industrial policies. At 9.18 on February 8, a sea rail intermodal train carrying 120 domestically produced new energy vehicles departed from Changzhou Railway Freight Yard to Ningbo Zhoshan Port. Upon arrival at Ningbo Zhoshan Port, the batch of new energy vehicles will be exported to multiple European countries by sea. This is the first new energy vehicle export train operated by the Yangtze River Delta Railway after the new year. Recently, Chongqing, Guangdong, Hunan and other places have successfully operated the China-Europe New Energy Vehicle Special Train, establishing a green channel for automobile exports. 
In recent years, China's exports of products are no longer limited to low-value-added categories such as clothing and handicrafts. The increase in exports of high-value-added and high-tech products has become a major highlight of China's high-quality development of foreign trade, especially in sub-sectors such as new energy. The longer industrial chain and the larger scale of the required supporting system indicate that China is gradually building strong international competitiveness in complex industrial products. As a new driving force for China's foreign trade exports, the development of new energy products has not been smooth sailing. Among them, electric vehicles and photovoltaic products have gone through two different development paths and are representative in the development of China's export industry. Wu Chang introduced to reporters that China's photovoltaic products developed rapidly at the beginning of the century, with the main markets and raw materials located abroad, which is a typical, two-in-one, big-in and big-out, development model. Affected by the international financial crisis, China's photovoltaic industry has experienced severe overcapacity and is in a difficult situation. After experiencing market competition and exercise, in recent years, China's photovoltaic industry has mastered core technologies and has strong global competitiveness. Therefore, the current export of photovoltaic products has increased rapidly, which is a natural reflection of growing from large to strong. In contrast, China's electric vehicle development history is shorter, and it has basically developed in sync with the world, without forming a significant technological gap at the beginning. In the process of competing with foreign companies such as Tesla, a group of local enterprises with independent intellectual property rights have emerged, and their products have gained recognition in the domestic market, leading to entry into the international market. Although the development paths of the two are different, there are common driving factors behind them. Wu Chang said that the first step is to master core technologies, starting from technology introduction and learning, and gradually mastering core technologies through independent research and development to form their own technological advantages. Secondly, there is the model of, first decisive at home, then decisive over abroad. The large scale of domestic market demand is a prerequisite for cultivating emerging industries, and only enterprises that stand out in domestic competition can have international market competitiveness. In addition to its strong endogenous driving force, the global low-carbon trend has also brought gusts of wind to China's new energy product exports. On February 7, the UK Ministers of Commerce and Transport announced that the UK government will provide £113 million, approximately £926 million yuan, in funding support for electric air taxis and hydrogen-powered aircraft to promote zero-carbon flight. On February 3, the Senate of Minnesota passed the 100% Clean Energy Act, which requires utilities to increase renewable energy power generation to 55% by 2035, and the state will transition to 100% carbon-free energy by 2040. So far, the United States has committed to 13 states that use 100% clean or renewable energy. From the perspective of the international market, the emphasis on new energy and low carbon has significantly increased, which is also one of the important reasons for the good performance of the above-mentioned new energy products and exports. Zhang Lacoon, a researcher at the Macroeconomic Research Department of the Development Research Center of the State Council, analyzed that achieving rapid and healthy economic growth without harming the environment has become the future development trend of countries around the world. This global trend will drive technological innovation among Chinese enterprises, enhance the technological level of their own products, actively respond to carbon tariff barriers, increase the technological content of Chinese export products, and promote the upgrading of industrial structure.